Hi, welcome to Usmania Journalism. Today we have Mrs. Harsha Bhargavi, Chief Public Relations Officer to the Director General of Police, Telangana. To begin with, she has career in journalism and mass communication and won gold medal. Currently, she's, she has enrolled in as PhD scholar from Usmania University. She has started her career in 2008 and joined DIPR. She has served in various government services and as a public relations officer. She has managed social media platforms and conducted workshops of various personal police at various levels. Hi ma'am, how did your academic background help you? My education background, actually I have done my PG journalism mm -hmm. uh, from Mahila University, Tirupati. So after that uh, I have, um, I was working as lecturer in uh, Laiola Academy, Alwal. Mm. So, I was teaching journalism students there. So, actually this notification has come uh, when I was studying in my uh, PG. Uh, so, it was a compulsion from our professor to apply for the post. So, we were in a uh, different mode of uh, going into electronic media and uh, um, working for the society. So when uh, the force was come from the department uh, to <coughs> apply for the government job, so we had to apply it and after two years we got the hall ticket. Mm. Then uh, somehow we got through uh, the exam and I was posted uh, in publicity cell um, in uh, information and public relations department in 2008. Okay. Can you tell our viewers how did this uh, journey into PR actually began? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, during our education, like I was uh, background from uh, uh, degree from Loyola, hmm. we have done this advertising and marketing. So that time we had a PR paper. So in that we had to do internship uh, for six months in some PR organization, some organization. So at that time we chose, our team has chosen Indian Airlines. Mm -hmm. So we had to bring out an in-house journal in a low cost. So that was the challenge we had. So during that process we had to interact with many people and we have to understand an organization. So when we are coming with a journal without any knowledge, so that was, uh, uh, that could be unsuccessful. So, and that too in a low cost budget, another challenge. So, this all experiences, mostly the field experiences, interacting with people. So, these all helped me uh, to get into the department and work uh, in a best way. What are your accomplishments? My accomplishments? Accompli major accomplishments as you can think of now, right now. Yes. So... My first posting was uh, actually was a training period, I should say, mm -hmm. because I was new to the department, the, to a government service. So I need to first understand the culture there, means the ambience there, how to talk to officer or uh, how to interact with uh, the department people and uh, what kind of work should be done. So this took nearly one year, two years like that. Later on, I was posted to administration side, so I need to understand there again was a challenge. So then later on, when I came to culture department on deputation, so that has given me a platform to show my uh, the best work. So I was given in charge officer of Lalita Kala Tornam. Mm. So there was no GO for it. So that time. Uh, uh, with the help of the officer uh, Kanta Rao Garu so, uh, and uh, Chalapa sir. Uh, so I had to um, prepare a GVO and uh, that GVO has come out. So that was really a happy moment first time that with my own experience I have done it. Then uh, second, uh, uh, during my uh, tenure in Vikarabad as divisional PRO. So, there, uh, the divisional PRO was office was never recognizable by anyone. So, I have brought certain changes from the office establishment to interaction with the local or political representatives to the offices. So, I used to interact with everyone. So, today, 
all the 11 mandals that time erst while vikarabad division everybody recognizes me as a pro mm -hmm. so that's how whenever i go there uh, everybody uh, recognizes and talks to me so i feel very happy that uh, my job was done at that time and uh, all the 11 mandals uh, uh, media people used to interact with me regularly so even today they will be helping me out in certain information or uh, sharing of any uh, confidential things also. So that's how the uh, close interaction was there every time wherever I was working. And presently uh, during my posting in DGP office, the major achievement was uh, um, I used to, now I see the social media platform, mm -hmm. Everybody recognizes us at the rate Pandiri Bhargavi, they'll be tagging me. So that's how uh, my work uh, with the department, everybody recognized my services. And uh, when they used to uh, say me, this is what uh, you have done for us, you have given a good information or input for the story. So these are certain things which a PR should feel happy. And uh, of course, uh, no scoldings from the officers. <laughs> so the, these are the things I feel uh, encourage you encourages. Really. Uh, okay. Uh, you will be, you know, in a dominated uh, male uh, office uh, working. So how do you feel there, ma'am? As a PR, uh, PR is also in dominated, like mm. from the... No, no, that the is your uh, male dominated office, yes, right? Yes, male dominated, <laughs> of course, police department. Uh, it's a male dominated and uh, I don't have any interaction with the female reporters mm -hmm. uh, because majorly it's crime reporters there and of course officers, uh, I can say 10% are women officers whom I will be interacting in the department. So remaining uh, all are male. One thing is it, it's not the gender I feel, mm -hmm. uh, it's the uh, kind of interaction you have. So one thing is when you are professional in your work and uh, when you are confident on your work. So no need of any gender difference, I feel. So of course it's a male dominated thing. Uh, certain things were challenging for me. Uh, but still I used to take the help of other counterpart itself mm. uh, to encounter certain strategies so that uh, finally my work is done. So uh, that's how I don't feel uh, today it's a uh, gender matters. Mm -hmm. So only thing how you uh, strategically move in the department is important. Uh, in this three years of working, did you ever had any heartening moments? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. there were many I should say. But still, uh, of course, uh, official part whenever there is such moment, mm -hmm. uh, I used to be very strong. Mm, of course, it happens everywhere. Uh, I was very strong because I can't project it uh, before anyone because my role is like everyday interacting, everyday uh, meeting people and uh, talking uh, about the department. So I should be very strong. Never I should lose my hope. Mm. If I lose my hope at any point, it will be like... Uh, Mm, a danger for uh, my existence there. I hope you had some exercises to be fresh to the next day because of this heartening moments before they... Like, yes. Uh, so a every day is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Every day is some <coughs> or the other thing. Means the morning, the call I get from media people or from the officials, in the same patient's way I had to answer if I get a call in the night at 12 o'clock. So that patience, of course, I didn't do any yoga or meditation or anything. <laughs> it's uh, the interaction with the people helped me. Okay. So only thing, uh, talking positive, mm -hmm. thinking positive is the only energy that gave me to sustain in the department for three years. As you said in your lecture, uh, before joining, I mean, on the beginning of your joining, it was not uh, too challenging, like monotonous work. Yes. So how did you make it as uh, challenging, ma'am? Yes, of course, this PR is a boring job for some people. Okay. Uh, means I feel that uh, wherever I go, I bring uh, uh, 
uh, a challenging thing for my post because I want to uh, look the things in a different way. Mm. It's not the every day it goes in Make a straight this thing. Yourself. So how best you can give mm. the same work when it is done in one way, how creatively you can do. So that was thought by my lecturers mm. because I am an advertising student. Uh, things should not be seen in a as it is way. How you better you can think. They used to give a lot of assignments for us, like looking a photograph in a different angle. So analyzing the things, so like presenting a newspaper's uh, clippings. Mm. So it's not that every day giving the same clipping in the same way. Why don't we have a section like uh, giving uh, certain categories to the newspaper clippings? So the presentation is important. Mm. So when you are uh, assigned to some task, how best you can give it. So it's not that the same task I was given every time and uh, same task I will be taking. So sometimes uh, people will feel that uh, why you are interfering in un unnecessary things. So I never used to interfere. I used to give guidance to them in a proper way because uh, something uh, which is known to me, it may go wrong. I used to really guide them at that point of time. So these uh, were helpful to the officers sometimes and uh, of course if they feel bad also I never used to mind uh, if there's everyone used to say straight to me and I was very straight to them so that's how interaction was helped. Uh, what should uh, you know right now emerging uh, PR students or you know aspiring to become a PR what should they acquire like skills? skills uh, I should say they should always be smiling mm -hmm. so uh, whenever a person comes and interacts with you he should feel like talking to you mm -hmm. it's not that uh, you should be boring first so today uh, it's like uh, how we see uh, one minute two minute uh, when we scroll down uh, the news or the videos we try to see for one min one second or two seconds only. Mm -hmm. So even people doesn't like talking to us for a long time. So how you make the best presentation of yourself? So from the dressing point of view, from the interaction point of view, or what kind of content you are talking to them? It's not the rubbish you should talk to them. It's how professionally you are talking to them. And uh, out of my experience, I learned that, uh, of course, there is a lot of personal issues with the officers or uh, personal uh, mm, problems at home. You have mm. to leave everything at home, at office. This basic difference should be there. Of course, it has a lot of impact on your professional life. But as a PR, you should always be positive. It's not that your officer has scolded today, you will be talking negative about the officer. You should always own the department, wherever you go, a corporate sector or government wing, you should own it, you should understand it. You should understand the background of it. You should understand the historical point of it. Then only you can go forward. Otherwise, uh, initially only, you will be facing certain challenges. Uh, as you said right now, you have to leave certain uh, family problems and move. So, uh, you know, every one of us have personal life also. How do you strike that balance between personal life and then professional life? Yes, it's very difficult as a, I should say here I am mentioning again, uh, before I said no gender, this thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, coming to family responsibilities, as a woman, I will be having responsibility of my children, my family. Of course, uh, the successful uh, women, uh, they won't leave the family. Mm. They will be having problems. But still, we need to go about. Certain things will be there. Sometimes we get a lot of uh, depressed. Uh, there will be uh, chances that uh, your professional life will be affected because of personal uh, this thing. So that balance has to be maintained. So... It is difficult at times. So that time, uh, you should be strong. You should uh, just think of your achievements, what you have done previously, and uh, what is your future achievements. 
and what are your targets so that will be motivating keep on motivating you so uh, thank you ma'am thank you so much for uh, you know uh, coming here from your busy schedule and uh, i think we'll see you in uh, uh, better positions later thank you so much thank you so much